In one of my FIT classes, I go through how to draw each general type of garment, knit top, jacket, pants, etc. And this past week we were drawing a skirt. Now there's a lot you can do with a skirt. You just kind of have to pick a lane. And so I usually show how to draw a skirt with some volume. In the past I've done knife pleats, but I decided to switch it up this year. Pleats are just one way of adding volume. And of course, there's different types of pleats. Knife, crystal, accordion, box, inverted box, and bias pleats. I've demoed how to draw knife pleats in Illustrator in this video. But this time, I'm going to show you how to draw accordion pleats. This was based on a very simple skirt. And with accordion pleats, the silhouette is usually pretty simple. Draw the waistband and side seams, but don't draw the hem yet. Reflect and join as you normally would. Next, lock the skirt so that when you're drawing the hem, you won't have problems with the pen tool trying to join it to the rest of the skirt. Draw a straight or slightly curved line for the hem and then go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Zigzag. Reduce the size, but increase the ridges per segment and make a note of the number of ridges you choose. Make sure absolute in the options and corner in the points section is selected. Next, I'm going to create the indentations to show the pleating and I'm going to use the blend tool for this. The first thing you need to do is create a line that mimics the shape of the slide seam on each side. And if you're wondering why I'm redrawing this, I have tried copying and pasting the side seam line, but it usually does weird things when I try to blend it. So I just draw a new one. I'm also making the line slightly longer than the side seam, and it'll make sense why I'm doing this very soon, I promise. Place the new line just inside the skirt, close to the side seam, and align the bottom of each line with the downward or upward point of the hem. Now, you're ready to blend. Using the blend tool, touch one line and then the other. The initial blend will usually show a few lines, so double-click the blend tool and choose specified steps for the spacing. Specified steps allows you to customize the number of objects between the two objects or lines you clicked on. For the skirt, the specified steps will be the number of ridges per segment you specified for the zigzag filter minus two because there's already two objects that we're using to create the blend. Then press OK. Now you might be looking at this and thinking, nice. But you're not leaving the sketch like that, are you? Of course not. Here's what you do next. I need the pleats to only show inside the sketch. To do that, I have to do a few things first. So for now, I'm going to hide the pleats to get them out of the way. Next, expand the appearance of the hem and then join it to the rest of the skirt sketch. And now that it's a closed shape, I can use the Shape Builder tool to create two separate shapes for the waistband and the bottom of the skirt. Next, fill each shape with white and then show the pleats. To get the pleats inside the skirt, cut them, select the bottom of the skirt, switch to draw in side mode, and then paste the pleats using paste in place. Rearrange the waistband if necessary, meaning select it and bring it to the front. And the last things you need to do are change the stroke weight of the pleat lines, and I'll usually add a width profile as well. Mm -hmm. 
Create a back view and add a closure, which could be a side or center back zipper. Otherwise, you're all done. Thanks for watching today's video. If you need to improve your Illustrator skills, make sure you check out the links in the description to take a class with me. And in case you didn't know, all my online courses are on sale during the month of November. Just use the promo code listed in the description. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.